As my viewers probably know, Os Justi Press, my publishing company, uh, has a series called the Os Justi Studies in Catholic Tradition series. Um, and we're, we've, we've published some impressive things so far. John Joy's Disputed Questions on Papal Infallibility, Father Rivoire's Does Traditionis Custodes Pass the Juridical Rationality Test, uh, Joseph Shaw's The Liturgy, the Family, and the Crisis of Modernity, uh, Father Steckler's The Triumph of Romanticism, and, and many others. We're up to volume nine right now in this series. It's a new release, hot off the press, uh, and I'd like to introduce it to you in this short video. It's called Super Hank Petram, The Pope and the Church at a Dramatic Moment in History, uh, written by the esteemed Franciscan theologian, Father Serafino Lanzetta, if you haven't heard of him before, he's he's very widely published in Italian, somewhat in French as well, but he's becoming more and more published in English too these days. He's based in Portsmouth, UK, uh, with the Marian Franciscans there. He's a lecturer in systematic theology at St. Mary's University Twickenham and at the Theological Faculty in Lugano, Switzerland. Um, Father Lanzetta is a dogmatic theologian. Uh, and he, he really has the chops for it. He's thoroughly conversant with the Franciscan tradition, Bonaventure, Scotus, uh, but also with the Thomistic tradition. And this book is loaded with references to St. Thomas as well. So what is this book about, Superhunk Petram? I'll just share with you the, uh, the, the publisher's description from the back cover. What does it mean to say that the Apostle Peter and each of his successors is Kepha, the rock on which Christ has built his church. Could this rock ever be allowed to crumble without the church herself crumbling? Can a successor of Peter fail in his office or even in his faith without negating the church's indefectibility? Crucial question nowadays. What are the nature and limits of the Pope's infallibility and primacy has the role of the Supreme Pontiff sometimes been exaggerated or distorted? Today, questions like these are asked with greater urgency than ever owing to the pontificate of Pope Francis. In Super Hank Petram, Father Lanzetta answers them with balance, realism, and confidence in divine providence. Lanzetta investigates Pope Francis's sources, leitmotifs, methods, and goals, examining the return of nominalism and pragmatism, the elevation of pastoral care over doctrine, the proclamation of a mercy that severs charity from truth, the substitution of a people on the move for the mystical body, and of a pan-religious humanistic fraternity for the salvific Christian mission, the inversion of hierarchy by synodality, the selective use of Vatican II as an impetus for paradigm shifts, an evolutionary vision of doctrinal development driven by sociological cultural theories, and the supplanting of eschatology by ecology. Pastors, theologians, laity, converts, non-Catholics interested in the church and her relationship with modernity all will find Father Lanzetta's study valuable for the light it sheds on the age-old office of the papacy and on the tempestuous reign of its most recent incumbent. I can tell you, I've read this book line by line twice. It's, it's a superb treatment of these questions that, that, are, that were just summarized. Um, crystal clear, uh, it's, 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 there's a lot of tough love in here, but it's largely written in a calm and non-polemical style. This is not a rant. This is an academic work, very accessible, but it's, it's, it's seriously footnoted and sourced. He's it, multiple languages of sources. So he really knows what he's talking about, Father Lanzetta. Some praise for the book. Bishop Schneider says, Father Lanzetta provides clarity on the nature of the papal office together with accurate analysis of Pope Francis's theology, a timely gift for a storm-tossed church. Those are Bishop Athanasius Schneider's words. Eduardo Echeverria, who teaches at the Sacred Heart Seminary in Detroit, calls it a serious and important critical work on the roots of Pope Francis's thought. Roberto De Mattei, the famous Italian historian, writes, this book is convincing and clear. It satisfies our need for understanding. Philip Lawler, the journalist, says, 
Father Lanzetta explores the theological implications of the conflict that we now face, as well as its possible origins. And Jose Ureta, uh, also somebody who writes extensively about the question of ultramontanism, especially its historical background, uh, he says about Father Lanzetta's book, masterfully tackles the thorniest questions of the current crisis in the church and in the papacy while maintaining a supernatural perspective. I've said enough about this book. You can, uh, you can check it out online. It's available from Osiusti Press, the website. There's a preview in there of, of all of the front matter, the, the foreword by Roberto de Matei, the preface by Father Lanzetta. Um, you can also find it on all of the Amazon outlets. And it's in paperback, hardcover, and ebook. Thank you, and God bless you.